Welcome to Houston as we prepare you for baseball from Minute Maid Park. Tonight, it's the home opener for 2017 between the Seattle Mariners and the Houston Astros. Astros baseball starts right now. Here's D. Gordon now. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Leading off for the Mariners, center fielder number nine, D. Gordon. And we are That's underway one. from Houston as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. And Harold, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in hoping to get back on the beam as they've dropped three straight. This is one of those scary streaks because if you don't sit there and say, that's it, fellas, let's cut it off. We need a win right now. Before you know it, you trickle into it, find yourself in bad habits and losing a lot of games. So those little short streaks, those are the scary ones. And now pitch on the way. Gene Segura comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. And a very comfortable 81 degrees as we get things started this evening. Here comes the 1 0. Ball nope. 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Zero. Behind on the swing that time, and it's 2 and 1. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And this is fouled back and out of play. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. Here's Robbie Cano now. First shot for him here Robinson with a runner at first Cano. now and one away. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone these last several pitches. Got a walk and that pit. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. Walked a guy. Now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. Here it comes, two and zero. Oh. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's a look over to first. The tag and he is cooked at first. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. And the pitch. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way, and he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Astros. Center fielder, George Springer. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And HR, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners entering play here tonight. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, they won the first two games, Matt, here on the road. And I, that's impressive anytime you do that. Now they're looking for the sweep in this place. That's pretty good. Second, 
right stepping Taylor. in Victor, Victor Robles. Robles. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. And that's in there for a call third strike on the split fingered fastball. Two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Down the third baseline. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there, and he's out. Digging in, Mitch Hanniger. First at bat for, for him in this one, and he's got Mike that Gilbert. average up over the 300 Mitch mark for Hanniger. the year. Zero. Starts him out with the knuckle curve, and he swings through it for strike one. Eight. Fastball yep. called for strike two. That's a good fastball down the zone. Now, some hitters are good low ball hitters, but that's exactly where you want to be. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Batting average for him on the season. Standing in the 320s entering action today. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a splitter that's inside as he's forced to jitterbug out of the way there. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And the pitch. Splitter. Two and two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line. But this will get back into the seats. So the count holds at two and two. Another two two offering. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. On deck, there's Adrian Gonzalez. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Grounded softly to the right. Throw gets him. Two down. Here's Adrian now. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. First pitch of the at-bat. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. 3 and 0 oh now. From the wind up, the 3 0 oh pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Robles going back on it, and it's gone. Digging in now, Wilmer Flores. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Two outs, base is empty, and I got one of my power guys at the plate. This is where you let it fly right here. Give me a home run or a double. Give me some kind of extra base hit. The 2-0 on the way. Hey. Takes a knee-high fastball. Into the windup. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. Robles is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Here's Carlos Correa now. He'll get us going Leading here in the Astro. bottom half of the second. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. Into the windup and the pitch. 
And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 1 0 delivery. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses. 3-2. and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Batting fifth. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. That was a good pitch right there. Started at the knees, got the hard sink down, got him to swing right through it. Beautiful. From the stretch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Hanniger is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Matt Adams now. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. Oh, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh, 2. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. Here to take it is Seeger, and that's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Evan Gaddis. The average Patrick. for him entering play, Evan. not far Gattis. north of 200. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And a fastball just a nope. bit up. The 1 0 delivery. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to the He's first up. baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. So stepping in. Ben Gamble. He'll stand in to open things Left up fielder. here in the third. Ben Gamble. Takes a high fastball for a strike. The windup and the 0 1. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. A little bit outside. 2 and 1. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two-two pitch, and the knuckle curve that time got him swinging, and that's the first out. Here now is Mike Zanino. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Not even close on that swing. No balls in a strike. He may have to get his eyes checked on that one because if he's looking for fastball, man, he had no chance of catching up to that. He better check his eyes. He was really late. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. This one's down to third. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock.
digging in for his second at bat. D Gordon 0 for 1 here in the early going. Gordon. First pitch coming here it is. This is pulled into right. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Gene Segura standing in. Reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Segura. Here comes the first pitch. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Has a look. Now the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. You're sitting 2 0 in that situation. You get the fastball, but it's not the location you want, so you lay off it. I love that. That's great discipline hitting. Now, a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Now, he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Gonzalez. And that retires the side. Coming to the plate now, Brian McCann. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Waiting on it is Henniger. One down. Striding into the box, Alex Bregman hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet. So you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Tried to stay back on the changeup there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 0-2 coming. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Digging in to try it again. George Springer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Springer. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hanniger ranging back. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Second baseman Robinson Cano. He's over for one here. thus far. Second baseman Robinson Cano. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here's a ball popped up. High in the air for the catcher Gaddis. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Up next for Seattle. Ready for another right chance. Fielder. Mitch Henniger Mitch. comes Henniger. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh. And this one's down off the shoe tops oh, 1 and 0. Oh. Right. One run two hits and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Oh. Not the ideal spot to be right here 2 and 0 oh count on a real good hitter. Boy you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Way out in front. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. This is line to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The batter, number 15, Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kyle, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, 0 and 1. 
Well, there's a first pitch strike. You know, only 50% of the pitches he's thrown first pitch this game have been for a strike. So I'm surprised that he's having as much success so far as he is. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Digging in, Adrian Gonzalez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a high pop up. Fregman is there for it. And that retires the side. Striding in once again. Victor Robles. He'll lead right things fielder. off here in this one Victor run contest. Robles. And that change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Ready with the one one pitch. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh wow that's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Now a swing and a fly ball. Hanniger in pursuit but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Now another one two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. The second base now batting Jose Altuve. Jose he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Into the windup and the pitch. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Now with the plate, Carlos the Correa. He drew a walk his first time up. Carlos Correa. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. Prior to the 0 1, here's a look to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Here's the 0 1. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 2. Now a throw over to first and the runner back easily. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. So coming to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. Runner goes for third. Pitch inside the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. The 1 0 delivery. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four. The batter, number Settling 15, in now. Matt Adams. Hitter. Two men on, Matt two away Adams. here in the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Now the 0-1. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. 
That's your classic front door slider. It doesn't break like you expect it to, and all you can do is freeze as a hitter. And he got the call. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. Hitting off He'll start Seattle. things out as we Navigated begin the fifth. Here. Wilmer. He's ready. Flores. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0 2 now. And now he'll reconsider as he looks for a strikeout pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Next for Seattle. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Hey, one thing's clear. He's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Aye. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line and right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Bregman is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Into the box now, Mike Zanino. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. The wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Robles is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So digging in now, Evan Gaddis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 Catcher. in the ball game. Evan Gaddis. Hey. And he gets the call that time for strike oh. number one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Zero. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the, the inning. First baseman. Striding in, Ryan Brian McCann. McCann. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 and 0. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball but he wouldn't commit it's ball one. One oh count here it is. And he jumps at a change up a swing and a miss. Even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Good hard splitter, but it misses two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. 
swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Here's D. Gordon now. 0 for 2 on his line Mariners. thus far. Center fielder. Third baseman D. in tight protecting Gordon. the bunt the first pitch. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Under it is Altuve, and he's got it for the first out. Ready How once again, Gene Segura. He's Gene 0 for 1 Segura. thus far. Now here it comes. Ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that's through for a hit. So we'll go at least one at bat deeper into the top of the sixth after that two out success. Striding in once again, Mitch Hanniger. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally. Oh, that ball comes in and gets him. Digging in and looking for more. Kyle Seeger. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot. Kyle Seeger. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Throw goes to third. No movement on base. It's ball one. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. Look out. 2 and 0 now. Man, the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Bounce to first. He's got it. The tag, and he is out. Here's George Springer. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Leading off for the Astros. Center fielder. Into the windup and the pitch. Springer. Way in front of a great slider that time. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control that bat. And there's ball one. Here's the one and one delivery. And this is fouled at the plate. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Ready for another chance. Chance Your Victor Robles 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts Number for him so far. 
Matt Davidson. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A late swing at a slider for a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And there's ball two now. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Yeah. Fastball is looked at for strike two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. The second baseman, number Digging in to try it again. Jose, Jose Altuve. Altuve. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And that misses ball one. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Now an off speed pitch well inside and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Hey that's a good pitch right there but you know as a base stealer when you're in the box like that you want to protect your money makers right. You don't want anything around your knees or your feet so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Another try at 2 2. And he'll stay alive here but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count holds at two and two. That was a fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Here's Adrian. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right hander has started to warm up out there. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Sliced hard on the ground. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Wilmer ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Chop foul right by home plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball 2. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And McCann will stay with this one for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ben Gamble. No hits in two trips to the pitching for the Astros. Number So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. 
Just just swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. That looks like he just swung right Number over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. Two, two balls and a strike. Here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Correa ranging up the middle in a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Traditional seventh inning stretch. Here's Carlos Correa now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. The left fielder. Here's Marwin nine. Gonzalez now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Popped high in the air, calling for it, Gonzalez. He's got it, and there are two down now. So digging in now, Matt Adams, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And he'll step off and try and reset. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Started that swing a bit too early. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Boy, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike change up. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball, ball didn't leave the park. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, making him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working. Here now is Mike Zanino. One for two on his line so far in the game. The catcher, number three, Mike Zunino. James Hoyt has been summoned from the. Pitching for the Astros, number 51, James Hoyt. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a miss. Little too anxious there. One and one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Into the box now. D. Gordon. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it, Gonzalez. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter, number two. Gene Segura standing Georgia. in. 0 for Gene 2 with a walk Segura. for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. And this will be taken in there by McCann, and that ends the inning. Digging in once again, Evan Gaddis. Leading He'll see what he can Astros. do leading off the home eight. Catcher, Evan Gattis. 
Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. One away. Digging in now, Brian. McCann. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Josh Reddick will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate at strike one. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. Four home runs and seven driven in. Chopped at the plate. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Here's George Springer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ryan Cook enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Right here, he's looking to get himself into a good hitter's count so he can take a rip and maybe give his team the lead. He certainly has the power. That's inside. 2-0. He's set and the 2 and nothing pitch. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And no one will get this one. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. Swings through it for strike number 2. He couldn't quite catch up to that one. He needs to get his foot down and see the fastball out of his hand. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Striding in, Robinson Cano. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 one, one tie. Hector Santiago will be on the now mound to start the Astros. Number twenty one, Hector. Santiago. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. One oh count here it is. Liner towards second. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. In now. Mitch Henniger. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hit hard towards center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. 
Here's the third baseman the now, Kyle Seeger. There's one away. The runner at first represents Kyle the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. And Pulled a strike on the outer half. 0-1. The 0 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, he's got a double play situation right here. If he can get the ball down, everything's been up. So I'm not really looking for a double play. It might take two or three hitters to get out of this jam. Now the 0 2 pitch. There's a fastball that just misses 0 1. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Here's Adrian now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ryan Healy will come on now as the pinch hitter, Ken Giles. Number 27, Ryan Healy. Now pitching for the Astros, number 53, Ken Giles. And he takes ball one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Tough slider down low for a strike. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Reddick will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Hitter, Wilmer Flores. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Wilmer Flores is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Oh, Matt, I think he thought he was going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together. Digging in for his second at bat, Matt Davidson Leading will be the, the one to get us going ninth. here in the bottom of inning Chris number Hanks nine. Matt Davidson. Edwin Diaz plate. takes the ball now, now in inning. Looking to close the door. Tony Kemp will be some of the pinch hit here to start the bottom of the turn. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And a whiff at a good slider that time. No one out with a runner at second. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. A 
decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit to third. Seeger has it. No problem here. One away. Settling in now. Carlos Correa. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Correa. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Way out in front. Ready with the 0 1. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. In the center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Kemp rounds the corner and is headed home. And that's going to bring in the run from second to make this a one-run game now. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That's a big pitch right there in this situation. I may see him come back with that. This hitter's so amped up, ready to go. Nice job of pulling the string. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul for the second strike. Back-to-back -back change ups and he fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. i got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Stepping the into the box, Matt Adams. Over three with a couple of strikeouts Matt for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Favorable call in there for a strike. Two out with the man at first. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. So we witnessed a close one here, but this man was a big factor in the outcome. So we're inclined to pencil him in as the tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor Our to the outcome of this.